Hey, welcome back to 100 Days of Code. This is Angela from the App Brewery, and today is day 15, where we're going to set up our local development environment for Python, and we're going to be building a coffee machine project. So when we designed the course, we really wanted you to get up and running as fast as possible and start coding straight away. But as our project gets more and more complex, then it's really important to start thinking about setting up a proper development environment. Now, if you are a chef, then you need really sharp knives. And as a programmer, you need a good development environment. In today's lesson, I'm gonna show you how to set up my favorite IDE. And the IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. This is a piece of software that will help you as you're creating your code. And it's going to do a whole bunch of things for you, including things like linting your code, finding errors in it, giving you guidance on your coding style, helping you debug issues, just making life easier for you as you start writing more and more code. This is the moment where you're graduating from a newbie developer. It's like as if you've gone into the mountains, you've fetched water for this old sensei for like 20 years, and finally he is going to show you how to use a sword. This is going to be the equivalent of our sword. Now, in terms of development environment, there's actually a whole bunch to choose from. And you might have heard of some of these, like Jupyter or Spider, VS Code, and some of them we've already used, like Thonny. But the one that we're going to use is something called PyCharm. And this is an intelligent development environment, an IDE that is specialized for Python. The tool has been sharpened especially for Python coding, and it's what the professionals use. In the coming lessons, we're going to get really familiar with this tool. And gradually, I want to show you how it can help you become a better and more productive developer. But before we can get started installing PyCharm, we first have to get the latest version of Python installed on your computer. In the course resources, you can go ahead and find the download link for Python. Then once you're there, it should automatically detect your current operating system. So here I'm on Windows and it says download the latest version for Windows. And then if you click on the big download button, it'll ensure that you get the latest version of Python. Now, it's actually a very small file, so it shouldn't take very long to download. And once it's complete, go ahead and open up that exe file. Now, go ahead and make sure that the checkbox for add Python 3.8 to path is checked, and then leave everything else as it is and click on install now and make sure that you have admin privileges while you're installing. So you have to be logged on as the administrator and say yes to any of the prompts. Now installation should only take a few minutes. And once it's done, you might get a hint here saying disable path length limit. If you see that, then go ahead and click on it. And again, say yes for allow. And then you're done and you can close off the wizard. If you're on a Mac, the process is virtually identical. Once you head over to the link from the course resources, you should see it automatically let you download the latest version for Mac. And once download is complete, you can go through the wizard, clicking continue, agreeing to everything that they ask you to agree and click install. And again, you'll need to be on the administrator account and type in your password to allow Python to be installed on your computer. Once installation is completed, it should open up this folder and you should see Python 3.8 or a later version like 3.9 or 3.10. But as long as you see this, then you've been successful and you can delete the installer from your computer. So now you should have successfully installed Python onto your computer and we're ready to proceed to the next step. Head over to the next lesson and we're going to download and install PyCharm.